Hello everybody, I'm Loquid and welcome back to more of Sky Shines Bedlam. Where last time we finally, finally made it to Aztec City on normal difficulty with a decent sized crew, some good amount of fuel, and now we're headed back to Byzantine. So we've got a new uh, intro or loading screen here, which I have not seen this one yet. I have not seen that character right there before. She intrigues me. Maybe we'll see her this time. So we're going to continue our game and try and get our good little selves back to Byzantine here. Uh, to recap, we have uh, engineering maxed, armory almost maxed. This, our bioresearch is all about halfway maxed, but we don't need it anymore because we no longer have any passengers. And our barracks is uh, got one level in it. Our weapons, we've got still got our dis Skyshine Distillery, our healing, our shield, and our resource replicator. And then we've got the new piece of cargo here, the Aztecian, Aztecan Vertex Bridge. Which, what I'm guessing is if you want, you can just teleport BAM from Byzantine to Aztec uh, once you beat the game this way. Who knows? Possibility, right? All right, on our crew members, we've got a level one sniper, level three sniper, level one sniper. We got four new additions to our crew once we actually made it to Byzantine, as well as Vigilus, the guard at the border of the territory, I guess you could say. Uh, we got three original frontliners, Two original gunslingers, two original trenchers. Uh, then we got Voda, Tashi, Zora, and Nori are the four additionals that Byzantine gave or Aztec gave us. And then we've got Vigilus, our guardian, he's melee, Abe, and Scragger. So without further ado, we are gonna start a moving and as per the fact that I have never played this game without recording it, um, I don't know what to do or where to go on this one, so we're just going to head straight on out. Alright, the dozer arrives at the massive wall, and a section once again opens to allow passage for the vehicle. You leave behind the passengers who will begin life anew in Aztec City and head back into Bedlam on a course for Byzantine. I need to check something here. Okay, wasn't shown. All right. Somewhere in the brutal and chaotic wasteland, King Viscera and his forces await. So is that what we have to go do? Is kill his forces? I, I don't. I don't know. I really don't know. As the dozer travels along the road, you notice a structure on the side of the road ahead. It appears to be an ancient fueling station. All right. The dozer comes to a halt and you disembark. The fuel station has been scavenged long ago, the building is empty of anything valuable, and the underground tanks have been drained of crude. Have Scragger main search? Hmm, okay. Seen one of these fuel dumps before in the big chaos. Had another hidden tank nobody knew about. The crew makes an extensive search beneath the rubble and finds a secondary crude tank buried underground. The crew returns to the dozer with the newly discovered crude. The dozer continues along the road. Wow, 156 barrels of crude. Very nice. Okay, let's keep on moving. You can see a vehicle head stopped on the side of the road. A man in a blood-stained smock is beside it, frantically trying to get your attention. You know what? I think I'm going to pass on this event. That just kind of screams trap to me for some reason, I, and I don't know why. So we're going to do that. We're just going to keep on moving. The dozer continues along the road, leaving the man to his fate in Bedlam. Keep on going. We're just going to head straight up into Byzantine, and we're, we're beelining. We're blitzing. A 
As the dozer travels along the road, you see a huge, menacing vehicle blocking the path ahead. The dozer comes to a halt, and you disembark to investigate. A massive man steps from the opposing vehicle and stands before you. From the scowling helmet and fearsome armor, you know this is the merciless, self-proclaimed overlord of Bedlam. Ah, oh, the evasive mechanic finally stands before the mighty King Viscera. You should consider it an honor merely to be in my presence before I spill your entrails and adorn my armor with the puny skulls of your crew. The power and technology at my disposal are beyond your comparison. My influence is immeasurable, and soon I shall be ruling the wasteland in your machine. Prepare to be overwhelmed by the unimaginable dominance of King Viscera. Oh, lovely. Lovely. All right. Um, we're going to get rid of you. And we're going to take two snipers. We're taking Abe with a range of three to four. Scragger with a range of one to three. Jazerium with a range of five to six. And Voto with a range of five to six. So, hopefully this is not the end. Um, if this gets wiped out, our combat capabilities will be significantly reduced. Um, I'm actually thinking of taking him instead of her. You know what? Yeah, we're going to. We're going to take him instead of her. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to do that. I've never been this far. This is awesome. I was one, I was wondering if we were going to encounter Viscera, and if we were, how long it would be going to take to encounter him. Oh my goodness. He's got a... That's crazy. Bad year. <laughs> I like it. And we got the uh, Blitzometer, Skull, and Lightning Bolt all over the place as well. Um, looks like just a, almost... It's a covered wagon, almost. All right, so we've got a mighty lot of people to hear. Okay, so we got Visser with 55 health. Oh my God! We got a couple trenchers, a couple gunslingers, and two frontliners here. Nine. He's only got two health. Seriously? How far can they move? Alright, well... We'll get rid of one now. Oh, that's not good. I was not expecting him to run up like that. Okay, uh, Equalizer. He does 10 freaking damage! Oh my god! He's got a shield. That is just cheating. Straight up cheating. Okay, um... Yeah. Oh, God! This is cruel! Holy crap! Alright, let's heal. Shield. And then let's nuke him. Because, oh my goodness, that's crazy! Ooh, I hit our guy. Wait, what, what, what? And he's he's running. Oh, confusion! Ooh, I did not know that's what that did. Very nice. <laughs> he's gonna go kill all his own guys. I'm loving it. <laughs> okay, so we can heal up a bit more. Oh, that's awesome. He does 10 damage now. Oh my god, 15 kills. That's 
pull A back over. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, they're out of their confusion now. Oh, that was too good. He's down to 24 health, so I think we might actually be able to win this. Where can you move to? Okay, if I move up, you will be able to hit me. So let's just concentrate on taking this guy out. Except we can't outright take him out just yet. Let's try and bait him in. There we go. Because now we can actually kill him. <laughs> no, nope, nope. Okay, good. Stay away from my sniper. My sniper is doing the most damage, period. See, that shield is just cheap. Well, we lost one. And we lost two. I, 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 I fully expect that. Not cool. Why? How? How? Not fair. Holy cheese. Insufficient power cells. Lovely. Okay, he's got all the health he can take. So we're just going to shield the heck out of him and hope that he can survive long enough to kill Viscera. Oh, man. Nope. Oh, so close. So close. Oh, my God. Gonna burn you, smash you, flay you. Maybe in that order. We got absolutely nothing, and we lost our butts on this one. Pathetic. Your efforts were barely worth bloodying the armor of King Viscera. Hope is for the weak. There is only one true rule of the ways. All right, let's fight on. He welcomes the opportunity to inflict further agony on our fragile combatants. Send more to their inevitable doom. Okay, well, I have a feeling that's how this is going to be. The entire game is just, at this point, a matter of fight him until you lose all your units or you win. I'm guessing completely uh, everybody on his team is healed, he's healed, and he has a full crew again. That's my guess. Yep. This is game, guys. This is... It doesn't matter what we do at this point. Um, he's got 55 health. He's got a constant personal shield forever. and It takes two hits to get through him. And one of his hits kills one of our people. So we're pretty much... We're boned at this point. Lovely. And we're out of power cells. We're, we're, we're completely out of power cells, so... Yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Can't even hit him. One down. Two down. Three down. Yeah, this is wow. And I hate to say it, folks, but that is game over. Because our people, we don't have anybody that can compete now at this point. It's I'll keep I'll keep fighting him, but uh, it's it is truly hopeless at this point. We are so boned, it's not even funny. He does too much damage, has too much health, and we are not we can't put the damage out. 
I mean, this is like that, like Final Fantasy, right? You, you push yourself and, and, and blitz to the end of the game to, you know, Final Fantasy VII, you know, you blitz yourself to get to Sephiroth. But only then do you realize that you don't have Knights of the Round Table or Mimic. Nice, but it didn't do anything for us at all whatsoever. Here, kill me. Yep. And I'm not just throwing this out the window. I'm actually trying to think of a way to do it, despite going fast. It's just when he... when. My frustration at this game right now has no no verbal equivalent, I'll put it that way. That's cheap. Can't even hit him because, you know, he's, he's well within our, our hittable range, but... And that is truly game over. Yep. Badass. Game over. We got a truly awesome score this time, though. Uh, it took us 44 minutes of total game time. We fought 8 of 12 battles. That's because we were just kind of chicken shit and blitzed our way through. 43 kills, despite 8 battles. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we lost 25 crew, 5 promotions, 4 locations visited, 1,300 crewed used... And we still had 1,500 in reserve. Meat eaten, 1,038. We still had 300 reserve. Power cells, 194 with 17 in reserve. Passengers saved, 925. We got a score of 2,927,200 with a rating of Elite Mechanic. Enjoy your victory while it lasts, Mechanic. And that's it. That's the end of this playthrough. We check our scores. We're on the top now, and that was actually a normal difficulty. So let's see, new run. Yeah, it doesn't give us anything. Absolutely nothing. And just for shits and giggles here. Um, yep, we can't teleport down here because we didn't make it back. So, yeah, let's just do it just to make sure, right? You might have to get out of the city. Yeah. So, apparently you have to get all the way to Aztec City and all the way back to get that little teleporter thing, right? And then you have to get all the way back, I'm assuming as well, to unlock other dozers. So... That's it for this playthrough, folks. Um, this episode was only 20 minutes. If I knew it was only going to be a couple more minutes, you know, I would have... Yeah. So until next time, uh, don't forget to hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment to tell me what you think of that ending. Do you think that's a rather raw ending, or uh, if is, should it be a little different? I don't know. It's been a pleasure, folks. Uh, talk to you all later.
Peace out.